Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Depending on where you're connecting from, today is May 13th, 2024. And here in the US, in some other countries, it was Mother's Day yesterday. So if you're watching this video and you are a mother, I wish that you had a wonderful day yesterday. Speaking about mothers, um, I would like to talk about what I consider some of the important roles, the spiritual roles of our mothers in this planet, in this life, right? Um, let's start by saying we should be grateful because through them we were able to be born, we were able to reincarnate and come here to do whatever we're supposed to, to be doing, right? Number one could be lesson, number two could be, I don't know, pain a karma, number three, maybe we have a mission and, and through them is that we're, we're able to be born and come to this planet. Now, um, many times I talk in my videos about how uh, the baby in the womb is affected by what is happening in the mother. So I just want you to think about it for, for a minute. At the moment of conception, the soul, the spirit, the soul, makes a connection with that baby, with that fetus, with that body. And at, at this moment, the baby has his own personality, his own um, essence, um, traumas, fears, sadness, phobias, pending lessons, karma that it needs to pay, right? And once we get into our mother's womb, we get into her vibrational field. And what, what does that mean? That when we get into that womb, right, we run into what she's going through. Our mother has also her own fears, sadness, phobias, her own soul entrapment. Um, and when we get into the womb, we start experiencing everything that she is experiencing experiencing but the time in the womb is actually is the realm of the subconscious mind everything that takes place in the womb uh, takes place at the subconscious level when we're born we forget about it but everything that we experienced um, might have programmed us um, let me put it this way um, whatever we experience in our mother womb we experience it as if everything belongs to us doesn't matter if she's sad or if she's thinking about an abortion, doesn't matter if she's depressed or she experienced the abandonment of, of the partner, the abandonment of the parents. We feel all of that as if it belonged to us when it actually doesn't. So once we're in the womb, we get programmed. Not only that, it's not only that we were, were programmed when we are in the womb, we also start making decisions based on what our mother is experiencing. Once we're born, right? Once we're born, uh, we're going to forget about it. This is what we call the spiritual amnesia. We forget about all of that, but the programming is done. And all of those decisions that we made in the womb, that we took in the womb, um, are going to start affecting us and it's gonna make us do things and preventing us from doing some other things. Without having control without even understanding why we're doing this and this is going to cause sadness, anxiety, confusion, right? So doesn't matter what happens in the womb, it is meant to happen. Nothing happens by chance. Once you're born through that mother, we come to do, I will say three things. There are three types of incarnations. Number one is mission. If you have a mission, you're born through that mother, that mother is going to help you and prepare you for that mission that you have in that incarnation. There's some a, a different type of, of incarnation is the lesson. So if you're coming to, to experience or to learn a specific lesson, of course, you don't remember this. We don't remember this, but it happens in all my sessions when my clients tell me, right, uh, what how is it that you decided to be born through that woman or be born in that family? And the answer is always, I chose that mother. I chose to be born in that family, right? So we choose our parents. In this case, we choose our mother because through her, we're going to experience things that are going to help us to evolve spiritually. Part of the evolution or part one of the tools for evolution is suffering. Sometimes you're gonna suffer through some events, but that's gonna help us evolve. I'll record another video about suffering and how that is a tool for evolution. Another thing that, that uh, or another type of incarnation that we have is um, 
is karma, right? Expiation. What does that mean? That we need to work on something that is pending from a different life, maybe another life, or we're going to pay a debt that we acquired maybe with our mother, or that we're going to help our mother pay for a debt that she acquired with us. Um, and this is very common, and I find this in my sessions very often, the relationship with our parents, especially with the mother and daughter, mother and son, could be karmic. What does that mean? That there is something that they need to work on. So one of the things that I noticed, right? For example, this disconnection, the mother not wanting the baby. I'm not saying that this is, this is a, a, a normal case and it happens every time. Of course, people that come for sessions is because they have issues and they want to work on those issues. So one of those issues are the disconnection from the mother. My mother didn't pay attention to me. My mother uh, told me she didn't love me, that I was a mistake. My mother wishes I had not been born. And, and we get upset and, and we, of course, we went through a lot of trouble because of that as we were growing up. But I want you to think about this. Nothing happens by chance. If you and that mother, if it is you two as spirits are together, it's because there is a reason. Nothing is for free. There are no victims in this world, as I said it. We play the roles of victim, the attacker, and the observer, right? But the victims, there are no victims. And the reason that we might be feeling victims now, it is, might be because we were the attackers in a previous life. So when you have issues with your parents, right? Um, just think about this. It doesn't matter how horrible it is. There is a reason for you and them to be going through this situation. Maybe something pending from a previous life. And what is, what is uh, the approach? And I know it's, it's easier to say that, than to do it is to embrace that lesson. That is a lesson. That is a test. If there's a karma, that is something you need to pay because you might have made her experience that in a previous life. I'm not saying that you were a man and a woman before. Maybe you were two enemies, two men in a previous life and you killed each other. This time you came as mother and son, who knows, right? But if you're going through difficult situations with your mother, or your father as well, but again, we're talking about the mother in this case. If you're going through a difficult situation with your mother, embrace that lesson. Don't just run away, don't turn your back, don't pretend that the problem is not there. Because if this is not learned in this life, it's going to come back in another life. If you don't learn this lesson through your mother, that lesson is going to be learned through somebody else. And that's why we see patterns in people's lives. So embrace the lesson. Uh, don't try to run away. There's no way to run away. There's no way to run away from karma. We need to pay that. And I had sessions. If you go watch my YouTube channel, you'll see that that, that happens often. And it starts even in the womb saying, my mother doesn't love me, my mother is thinking about aborting me. Um, or my or once you're born, my mother is not paying attention to me, never paid attention to me. But there's a reason for that. I just want you to think about that. I want to finish this video, quick video. I just wanted you to just raise, I wanted to raise awareness about this situation because a lot of the people that come for sessions and I'm going to include myself. At some point, I also felt the victim. Of course, the life between my mother and I has not been the easiest one, but now I understand that we're together for a reason. I'm not saying that because now I understand it's going to make that lesson easier. No, um, it's going to alleviate the suffering. Let's put it that way. And, and, and we just need to own our lessons and work with it, the both of you. I'm just going to finish this quick video with, with a message that um, Joanna the Angelus, a spirit guide, um, gave to Divaldo, Divaldo Franco, who is a medium. He's, she is Divaldo's uh, spirit guide, and, and, and she said to him something like this, always keep loving. At the end of your journey, meaning this life, right? At the end of your journey, when you look back, you will notice that Every problem, every challenge, every person was put in your life for your own benefit, for your own spiritual evolution. When you disincarnate and see life from a different perspective, you'll see that it was never any, there was never anybody against you. 
that it was always you against yourself. And then she ended, ended saying, um, humans, being humans is very challenging, but the biggest challenge for humans are humans themselves. It is not easy to be incarnated in this planet where we're, we're affected by many things while we're incarnated in this body. We're incarnated by, we're, I mean, we're being affected by what we call past lives, what, that are not past lives. Everything is here and now in the form of symptoms, issues, dreams, nightmares. Uh, the past is not the past. We're also affected by karma. We're also affected by decisions that we made in previous lives, what we call mandates, maybe during the agony of a previous body, maybe a promise, a pact, an oath, or, or maybe a, 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 a curse that you said to somebody, right? We're all affected by that. There's also something called soul entrapment. We were, not, we were not able to process and experience completely at the physical, emotional, and mental level. And when there were things we were not able to do before we died in a previous life. Our soul is trapped and for that, that's still taking place and we're being affected by that. That is also affecting us now. And it's not only from that life. There is another concept called multi-simultaneity, which means that we could be trapped in different places at the same time. And we can be getting symptoms from all of those places. And that could be a past life, the time in the womb, childhood, um, teenage years, even a few years ago. Another, one more thing that could be affecting us is, is um, lost souls, attachments. Lost souls that attach to us because maybe they're lost or, or maybe there's, a, there's something pending between the two of us and, and they're looking for revenge. Or maybe a, a parent that is trying to stay with us because they wanna make sure that, that, that we find the right partner or make sure that we're okay before they finally go to the light. Regarding, regarding of what it is, we're, we're affected by all of that. And of course, we have the issue with our family. Our families, our first school, our parents, are our first, our first teachers. And, and one of the things that I learned when I, I, I studied Life Between Lives Michael New, with the Michael Newton Institute, and when I read his books, is that most of the time, the relationship with our parents are karmic. If you need to work on a karma, I've seen this more than a few times where enemies from past lives are sent back together as family members, mother, father, daughter, son, brother or sister. Why? Because at that moment, once you are a family, there's no running away. If they send you as a husband and a wife, you can say, I don't love you anymore. I don't want to be with you anymore. And I want a divorce. But if you are in a family, there's no running away. Anyway, I, I hope you found this information useful. And again, this is my opinion, my version, my perspective, my opinion about um, the, the role of our mothers and why they are very important in our lives and why we need to work on whatever is pending and we need to work on whatever issues that we have with them because remember, we chose them for a reason. Thank you again and until um, next time, bye.